Hi, this is Jane Tilly Hatch, Bethesda Star. Um, this is a follow-up video on the liver cleanse. I had a friend that wanted more details. Um, so here I am uh, updating it. So I don't know what kind of condition your liver is in. There can be, you know, severe liver conditions like um, psoriasis. Uh, there's fatty li liver. I'm not a doctor by any stretch of the imagination. I am a certified herbalist and a shamanic practitioner. And as you know, a writer and a journalist. So I did get certification for uh, being an herbalist in Maine. And then I worked for four years in an herb store. So, and then I picked up a lot on my own. So I do have quite a bit of knowledge about herbs and I do a lot of research. So uh, it's spring, it's a good time to do a, a liver cleanse. It's sort of renewing, revitalizing. And we've all probably experienced a lot of anger um, in the last year um, from the restrictions and the lockdown and everything else that's going on. So if you're not necessarily processing that out, it's going into your liver, um, which ultimately, in my opinion, you know, what begins on the spiritual and the emotional will eventually manifest in the physical if you don't get it first. So that's one reason I'm doing dandelion flower essence as well, because whatever my, you know, the, your thoughts are basically going to create your emotions, your belief systems are eventually going to create the dis-ease in your body or the disturbance um, or the in inflammation. So a lot of what happens to our bodies begins on this level. So in the last video, I mentioned a couple of things that I was doing. And one is turmeric. This is the herb. And uh, you can already you can buy them very easily already in capsules. But I think this whole bag was maybe, well, it says right here. It was 275 for a whole thing of organic turmeric. So if you bought, you know, that much in capsules, it'd probably be like $20, something like that. Uh, but if you don't have the time, if you don't want to get your fingers all yellow, you know, I could be wearing gloves, but I don't. <laughs> uh, you can you can get this, you know, there's many reputable bland, brands. I do get um, dandelion right now, which is unusual for me. Usually I take my own dandelion, but I am um, taking dandelion from Solar Ray. And it is non-GMO. You know, obviously there's dandelions everywhere. And the root is the part that the Native Americans said had the po power of the eagle's claw to, remu to remove impurities from the liver. So not to get ahead of myself, but this is what I am taking right now. I'm taking four capsules a day, two in the morning and two in the afternoon for as part of my liver cleanse. And again, this is Solar Ray. And you can just as easily or probably more easily uh, dig dandelions and dry them <clears throat> and either, you know, and powder them, which is what this is, or make a tea. But that's another whole video about how you'd make a strong infusion from a dandelion root. So I, as I said before, this is the turmeric. I got this at Milagro Herbs in Santa Fe. Um, you could, you know, order from them, <clears throat> but you'd have shipping. So it's good if you can get it, you know, where you live. And so these are um, vegetarian capsules. I got these at Natural Grocer. These are really inexpensive. I think it was $3 for 100. And these are vegetarian. I think some of them have some sort of gelatin on um, horses hooves or something. So I'm just gonna open this up. And what I do, and again, this is something else um, from a, I heard from a very reputable herbalist, master herbalist, that if you add some sort of pepper to turmeric, it delivers the, the anti-inflammatory power deeper into your cells and, you know, deeper into your, you know, your fingers. And so I'm, I'm go I trust this source hundred percent. So I'm going to, I, I think I might do a little bit of black pepper. This is, this is crushed red pepper. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit right into the turmeric and then, you know, you can get little uh, machines that do this too. Uh, you will get your fingers pretty orangey, but I just sort of stick in one end right into the powder 
and then I put the top on. I can't think of enough ways to eat turmeric in a day to, to get enough. I have a daughter that seems to add it to everything. Another herbalist I spoke to yesterday says she puts it in rice every day. I'm just doing this to be sure I get it. I'm gonna take two of these every day. So this one is the one that has the pepper in it. So I take two of these a day. The recommendation on the dandelion on this is four. Now, if you were to have a tincture, it would be much more powerful. Uh, but I, you know, there's no reason to start out, you know, at a at a you know full gallop when you're doing a healing. It's actually better for your mental health, for your physical health, uh, to start out slowly. You know, especially if your liver has become really toxic. Um, and again, I'm not a doctor, and you have to potentially, if you're having a liver problem talk to a medical specialist. Uh, you can get, I guess it's either blood or urine samples that will tell you exactly what's going on with your liver. So, but if, if you're just doing a liver cleanse, I think it, and you don't have a severe liver condition, such as an alcoholic psoriasis, cirrhosis, sorry, um, you, you could safely go ahead with, these are, you know, very benign. This is an herb, turmeric or turmeric. I keep saying it wrong. Uh, and dandelion is exactly that dandelion. I don't think there's anything else in here. No, there isn't. It's just dandelion and, and then the, the capsule. It's a cellulose and rice bran. I think it's the cap is the, the, the rice bran probably goes in to the, um, to the mix, uh, to keep it, um, so it doesn't stick. And then the vegetable cellulose also is into 520 milligrams per capsule. It's the whole root, which is what you need is the root to really get deep into the liver. So those are the two herbs that I use. It's turmeric or turmeric and dandelion. Dandelion is very, very powerful for the liver. And I probably will graduate myself to the tincture, but I'm just sort of getting um, my liver accustomed to uh, the, the energy of the dandelion and the cleansing with, with this. And also, you know, I don't always want to add alcohol, which, you know, most tinctures have. It, it's a gentler, it's gentler to do it this way. So those were those two. And then the other thing I'm doing, this is a, 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 just a cup of um, filtered water, pure water. And to that, I'm just going to, I'm going to add um, a teaspoon of vinegar, organic vinegar into the cup. And I'm doing this at least twice a day before a meal. So that's it, just a half, you know, like a teaspoon and then a squeeze of orange, I mean, lemons. <laughs> it's a half lemon, so I'm gonna squeeze. Usually I use half of a half. And because I don't like to not want to take this, I put a little bit of stevia in, which sweetens it up. And stevia is the one sweetener I can have because I do have issues with candida. Um, I do have a green stevia that's, you know, right out of the ground practically. Clearly this has been processed, uh, but it's very simple. Uh, to use, easy to use, and I don't feel any negative side effects. And stevia is actually a plant, it's a green plant. So this is what I take before two meals a day. Um, I'm also going to acupuncture every other week, which I think is really, really important for me uh, because energy is what I'm all about. And so an acupuncture is about clearing energy meridian. So I feel it right away. And I think my body responds really quickly to um, acupuncture. So my diet, there's such controversy. Like a lot of people will say that the keto is best for the liver, which is really surprised me because there is fat, quite a bit of fat, 
But those people are saying that it's not the fat that causes the fatty liver, it's carbohydrates and sugar. And fruit and vegetables and starches have a lot of carbohydrates. So there's also the diet that I really like that I kind of got from high carb Hannah, who I love. I absolutely love her recipes. And um, so I'm trying to find a happy, I do not, I, try, I watched one keto video by the end, he, he was shopping. By the end of the video, I just wanted to throw up. He had so much flesh and I haven't eaten meat for like five years and I just did start to eat chicken and turkey because I was having digestive issues and I found that if I ate meat, it cleared it up for the most part. So I've added, you know, so my diet doesn't fit with either. I, I tend more towards high carb Hannah because it's like really wonderful, delicious looking foods and, you know, beans and lots of rice, and beautiful vegan sauces and the flesh that this other guy who was looked great. I mean, he was a bodybuilder. I, you know, I don't aspire to be a bodybuilder, but, um, you know, he was in a shopping cart. And he, was, he was a nice man, of course, you know, buff. And um, he was going through, it wasn't Trader Joe's. It was owned by Trader Joe's, one of the other ones. But anyway, you know, he started on, I said, okay, I can do this. It was like tuna fish. And then, like with sardines and then he got some eggs and he talked about eggs and I learned something about that. You need to get organic and you, they need to be cage-free organic. If they're not organic, then they're not, they're eating a bunch of junk, the chickens. And, uh, and then, they, then he got <laughs> chicken and then, and I was starting to feel like, oh. and then he got buffalo and hamburger I just went on and on and on and on. I was like, oh my God, I could never eat like this. I could not do this. So I'm trying to find, and it's supposedly he was, it was actually, I think I'd seen one of his videos about a, a fatty liver, liver or liver problems that you need to do more uh, meat and um, fat, good fats. And uh, so I was exploring that. I, I never have felt, drawn to keto. I feel very comfortable and energized on a high carb, no fat. Um, but there are people saying that can lend to a fatty liver because of all the fruit and the starches that you're trying to uh, process. So right now my diet is sort of, I'm trying to do half vegetables and then a protein and a starch you know, for uh, lunch and dinner. And that's sort of where I'm at now. I, I don't eat any gluten. I don't eat any dairy. I hardly eat any salt. What else don't I eat? Um, sugar. I basically don't have sugar most of the time. I will have like pineapple, dried pineapple. So I'm finding my way with my diet, but these herbs and the vinegar I'm sure of, it's um, well-tried, proven, anti-inflammatory liver cleansing. So I hope I covered everything. I just want to mention I'm having um, allergies and rubbing my eyes constantly. So I got this eye bright and I make it with a tea and a tea. I, and I drink it, but I also like dab it around my eyes. And you can see this. I don't know if you can see this. This is Osha that I harvested myself in the mountains. And I take uh, two um, dropperfuls of this at night before I go to bed. And then the turmeric. So once I get it under control during the day, I'm pretty good with the allergies. This is in the morning when I wake up. And sometimes at night, if my cat comes near me because I think he's covered with juniper uh, pollen. So that's my spiel today and um yeah i love this rose incense i have going in the back um if you're interested in flower essence uh the dandelion is is excellent right now to cleanse your energy field of the thoughts that are creating what i believe are creating um liver issues part of it you know part of it is also if you're 
an alcoholic and you're drinking, um, then that is contributing, of course. But there is thoughts and beliefs, even ancestral lineage in your energy field that does not necessarily have to be there, uh, that could be contributing to liver and other health issue problems. So with that, uh, I hope everybody's well. If you'd like a flower essence, uh, dandelion I'm recommending for the, the liver cleanse. And I don't know why, I don't have that in front of me. That is a great place to start. These are the flower essences I make from flowers in Santa Fe. Uh, you can go to my website, uh, BethesdaStar.com and you can order from there. So thanks everybody. How many times have I made a video? <laughs>